Greetings, brothers and sisters in Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords, our Prince of Peace, our wonderful Counselor, the one who was, who is, and shall be, the Alpha and the Omega, the author and beginner of our, the author and the beginner of our, the author and the beginner of our faith. Today's devotional is for December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2022. It's from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, verses 12 through 13. When you... Oh, let me get set up here. When you give a dinner or a supper, do you ask your friends, your brothers, your relatives nor rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and you be repaid? We tend to only want to give in order to get. It isn't easy for us to give with no strings attached, but we must. Jesus said to give with no ulterior motives, hoping for nothing in return. In Luke 6.35, you can find that. There is something warming about dining with friends and family and, and rich neighbors. Perhaps they may return the favor by asking us to join them on their yacht. But to host a dinner for strangers who are homeless, poor, or sick isn't so appealing. Love dismisses these things because it cares about human beings. They have worth because they are made in God's image because God is love. Therefore, they deserve to be respected and treated with the utmost amount of love. We care first about their eternal salvation before anything else. Just like God looks at our hearts instead of the exterior experience, exterior ex um, appearance, just when, he went, when uh, Samuel went to the house of Jesse and all the boys were there, and they're, you know, rough and tugged looking. And he's like, no, 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 is there any more out? Is, is there another boy out there? And they go, oh, yeah, yeah, there's David. He's out there shepherding the fields. But, you know, he's small and scrawny and stuff. Oh, well, Sammy goes, well, I need to see him. I need to see him. And then as soon as he saw David, he... Uh, he secretly anointed him and told him that when Saul's reign as king of Israel ended, that he would become the king of Israel. And so he did. So today's self-examination is, do I give to get? Do you expect something in return when you give? Or do you give generously, freely, with an open heart, expecting nothing in return? Or do you lay your riches here in heaven, here on earth? Or do you lay your riches up in heaven where moth and rust cannot destruct? Because here on earth, they can, they can destruct and they can destroy. should always pray father may we always check that our may we always check our motives for giving what is it what is our motive for giving is it to is it to appease us to impress us to increase our our already prideful self that god is trying to sanctify and get rid of and he's done a great job with a lot of people with that. But some people have, have had a lot of work to do with that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because he, he who started a good work in you will see it to completion on the day of Christ Jesus. Again, go to Matthew uh, 21. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1. The parable of the vineyard workers. And you'll understand that it doesn't matter when you start your spiritual journey. We all get salvation. The thief on the cross who 
suddenly have faith in Jesus Christ as being the Son of God? Jesus Christ said to him, Today, verily, verily, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. That is the exact salvation that the Apostle Paul, despite him going through, doing all these mis this, this missionary work all over, all the shipwrecks, all the beatings, all the imprisonment, everything he went through, both him and the thief on the cross experienced the exact same salvation. However, at the Bema Seat of Judgment, the rewards are going to be different. So with that, I would like to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas Eve. I love that song, what, Holy Night. Holy Night. It's a beautiful song. I'm going to listen to it after this video, as a matter of fact. Wonderful song. Oh, Holy Night. So apropos. And have a blessed Christmas day tomorrow with your family and your friends. If you do not have family and your friends, don't worry about it. Because one day, very, very, very soon, you're going to have tons of family and friends. And they're not going to judge you by your appearance, by what you're wearing, how many gifts you give. If you drink too much eggnog, <laughs> there's not going to be any eggnog in heaven, by the way. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be more than fine, it's gonna be spectacular. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has the minds of men comprehended what God is doing for those that love him. And with that I say Maranatha, and if I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll see you in the skies! Oh shoot, it didn't end. Let me start that over. So, if I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll see you in the clouds!